Amber says, is this your house, Miss <laughs> Yes. Can you guys hear us? Can you just give us a thumbs up if you can hear us? We got a lot of wind and uh, it's rough out here on the Sea of Galilee. Yeah, there's lots of uh, fishing boat sound too. Right? They had motors back in the day. Uh, oh, we got some thumbs up. Yes. Okay, so we're here on the Sea of Galilee. Mr. Jean said no, he can't hear you. Not the Sea of Galilee. Turn your hearing aid up. <laughs> so. <laughs> Galilee, really. No, no, we're here in Inverness, Florida. On uh, Lake Henderson. Lake it's Henderson. Also known as Lake Inverness, Inverness. Or Inverness Lake. Oh, cool. Yeah, okay. so welcome guys. We're glad you joined us tonight. Yeah. Um, thanks for joining us tonight. Yes, thanks for joining us. There, <laughs> Mr. Gene is up, Butter. God's beautiful creation, enjoying oh, the so awesome great. weather today. So that's good. Let's go ahead and start with prayer. Do you want me to pray? I don't know. We didn't say, <laughs> did we? I can start and you finish. Okay, that sounds that. good. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's a good idea. Okay. All right. Heavenly Father, just thank you for this beautiful day that you have given us. Thank you for this time together tonight. We um, anticipate being back together with our church family, with the body of Christ, soon. Lord, we miss our normal, but we're also anticipating and looking forward to what you have in store for us. So thank you for the newness. Thank you for watching over us, and thank you for all the blessings that you give us. Be with us tonight. Help us to share your word. Help your word to be glorified. and and to be understood. Help us to honor you in all that we do. Lord, we love you and we thank you. And it's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Yep. Amen. Father, thank you for all the kids that are joining us tonight. And thank you for all the adults that are there supporting um, you tonight. Lord, we pray that you would you would help us, that you would enlighten our hearts and our minds with your word tonight. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right. So we got a pretty cool story tonight. We got huh? a great story tonight, and that's right. why we're out here. Yeah. You no, know, it's not the Sea of Galilee, but we're just kind of getting into We're bringing the Bible to life tonight. Like, yeah. kind of in action. Yeah. We got the Adventure Bible in action tonight. Well, sometimes if we read the stories over and over again, they get, they become stories to us, and they they don't they don't become real. But being out here in the sand with the lake in the background, it really gives us a sense of these are things that really happened. These are things that really took place um, 2,000 years ago, but people weren't any different than we are today. So we're, we're getting ready. We're going to do a little bit of 
fishing later and we're gonna maybe fish off the dock and try to bring in some fish and maybe eat some bread along with our catch um oh, and that kind of i bet you they know what we're going to talk about tonight anybody have Can anybody an idea? guess what we're talking about tonight where are we going in the scripture tonight i'll, I'll give you a clue it's in the new testament mm -hmm. Anybody say anything? Not yet. Not yet. It's on page 1172. In the Adventure Bible. If anybody, they probably all, yeah, if you have this Bible, it. it's on page 1172. So fine, if you want to follow along with us in your Bible, we are, shall we go ahead and tell them, drum roll, da -da 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 -da. we are in the book of John. John. Brenda Taylor got it. Feeding the 5,000. Yes. Oh, wow. Dang, Miss Brenda, good job. <laughs> feeding 5,000. Jesus feeds 5,000. Okay, let's, we're going to take this um, Bible story. And remember, guys, we're talking about a Bible story, but it is the truth because it, because it is coming from God's Word. Okay, so it's a great story, but it, it's actually one of my favorites. Yeah. Um, but remember, just because we say it's a story, any um, of them that involve food are my favorites. You like the food part? Yeah. All right. Well, let's. Well, oh, come to think of it, that's that's <laughs> what I want to talk about first of all. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. We get here on the Sea of Galilee, and and Jesus is really really popular right now. People are following him wherever he goes, and they really want to hear what he has to say. Where they want to hear what he is preaching about. Yeah. And so this day, this particular day, there's a group of uh, disciples yeah well yeah they're <laughs> there because they're always hanging with jesus right oh how cool is that was is it yeah yeah so it's wait that's uh, not how they fished back then they fished like this net oh we yeah. should have had the net out cast there. nets yeah, yeah so you threw it you cast a net. net back in that day cast right? nets anyway so they had been fishing jesus had been um preaching and teaching the people all about God's word and people were following him. They loved to hear his stories and what he had to say. And so there's 5,000 people. The Bible says 5,000 people. About, have, well, actually the Bible says 5,000 men, right? Yeah, so does that mean there was more? Because I'm sure the ladies, if I was a lady, I would not be left out. If you take into account the women and the children, then there was probably closer to 15,000. And you know they were there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. Absolutely. Women and children, would we be there? Yes, we would. <laughs> Absolutely, yes. Uh, so anyway, so let's take a look. There's 5,000 people, and then... We're going to identify the problem. problem. Well, the problem, do you think the problem was with Jesus or do you think the problem was with the people? Well, since Jesus was God and God is perfect, it probably wasn't with him. Nope. 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 So let's identify what the problem was in this passage. And we learn that word of Jesus is miracles and life-changing teaching was spreading all around. He was becoming something like a celebrity, okay? Mm -hmm. So people loved to be there with him. One day, on a hillside- He was like the Miss D. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. He was way beyond that. He was like, Pastor Byron? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. There we go, that's more like yeah. it. But wait, people were, they just wanted to be around him. Mm -hmm. So he has this big crowd of people. He's near the Sea of Galilee. Um, exactly, it says the Bible says he's on a hillside near the Sea of Galilee. And there was a massive crowd of over 5,000 people. They had gathered to hear him. And in the midst of this crushing mass of people, a bad situation became obvious to Jesus' disciples. Well, we're dealing with that kind of situation a lot here nowadays. So. Yeah, exactly. So the timing on this story, I love it when God does that. Yeah. So, 
up was with the people and not with Jesus. Yeah, uh, yeah the people had a problem and it becomes obvious that there is a problem. So, Andrew, who Andrew is? Yeah, he was one of the 12 disciples. Yeah, yeah. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. Coulda, woulda, shoulda. Say it backwards? No. Say it with me. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. Coulda, woulda, shoulda. Coulda, woulda, shoulda. Let's move on before we get in trouble. Well, because here's the point. Jesus could have spoken a simple word, and he could have made the miracle right there. Yeah. And made the food appear just by speaking. Yeah. Because we know he's done this before, right? Yep. So he could have simply thought about it even, and the hunger of all the people would have been instantly satisfied. Yeah. But let's stop right there, and let's take a look at the shoulda, woulda, coulda. Let's read it from God's word, and then we'll talk more about shoulda, woulda, coulda, all right, or guys, shoulda, woulda, shoulda. Are you guys ready? Here we go. John chapter 6, verses 1 through 14. Sometime after this, Jesus crossed to the far shore of the Sea of Galilee, and a great crowd of people followed him because they saw the miraculous signs he had performed on the sick. Then Jesus went up on a mountainside and sat down with his disciples. The Jewish Passover feast was near. When Jesus looked up and saw a great crowd coming toward him, he said to Philip, Where should we buy bread for these people to eat? He asked this only to test him, for he had he already had in mind what he was going to do. Philip answered him, Eight months' wages would not buy enough bread for each one to have a bite. Another of his disciples, Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, spoke up. Here is a boy with five small barley loaves and two small fish. But how far will they go among so many? Jesus said, have the people sit down. There was plenty of grass in that place and the men sat down, about 5,000 of them. Jesus then took the loaves, gave thanks and distributed to those who were seated as much as they wanted. He did the same with the fish. When they had all had enough to eat, he said to his disciples, gather the pieces that are left over, let nothing be wasted. So they gathered them and filled 12 baskets with the pieces of the five barley loaves left over by those who had eaten. After the people saw the miraculous sign that Jesus did, they began to say, surely this is the prophet who is to come into the world. Jesus, knowing that they had intended to come and make him king by force, withdrew again to a mountain by himself. Wow. Amen. Oh, thank you for reading it from mm -hmm. God's word. Okay, so shoulda, woulda, coulda, but word up, we trust, we trust God, God to, to provide. provide. I couldn't hear you say it again, word up, we, we trust, trust God, God to provide. provide. Just spoken 
and made the miracle happen right there. Yeah. But he didn't do it that way, did he? No. He could have. He could have. But he didn't. Would he? But people thought he should have. He should have. Could have. He would have if there was nobody there. Yeah, so why do we think he brought that little boy into the picture when he could have performed that miracle all by himself? Should have, would have, could have. He could have. Is this kind of along the lines that God didn't need that boy? God, God did. did not need the boy, but He didn't Jesus even need the was, fish or nope, the loaves. But Jesus was making a point to not only the people, but to his disciples. Because remember, they were kind of like in training, right? Yeah. They were learning. So I'd say we're in training too, right? Definitely. So we want to say today, now, how does this, okay, Jesus, help us to understand how this applies to us today. So. Mm. Why did Jesus use that young boy in this story? I think he was trying to teach his disciples to know and remember that they need him. That's right. And what he's trying to tell us today and remind us today when we hunger is that we need him. The coolest thing about this story, Mr. Ian, we were talking about this earlier, is that... Um, he chose this little boy that had these fish and, and loaves to use him in order to feed his people. So when he allows us to be part of what he does, he kind of does the same thing with us. He chooses us to allow us to be part of what he's doing, yeah. which is, is, is what's cool here. Yeah, that's, that's where we go. Oh. Oops, deeper. We're going deeper. You Oops. are so there already. So the Thomas family is too. Yes. Amber slash Bryce said to show that they need him. Yeah. So we need. He was teaching a lesson to show that um, any problems that arise, guess what? Word up. Guess what? Word up. <laughs> we trust God to provide. provide. Show us how, Mr. Joe. 
Um, I'm not really sure. I've never casted a net before, but it's kind of like this. Throw it over your back. You are the god of great wonder. <laughs> Here you go. Where is it found in the, the table? Psalm 77 and 14. You are the god of great wonder. Psalm 77 14. All right. So let's do it one more time and cast your nets as you say it this time. All right. All right. One, two, three. You, you are, are the God, God of great wonders. wonders. Psalms 77, 14. Oh, 14. All right, now this time when you say it, I want you to swim because you're going to be swimming across the Sea of Galilee. That's this a time. better idea. So get your get your arms ready to swim and show us your swim mo movements here. So ready? One, two, three. You, you are, are the, the God, God of great, great wonders. wonders. Psalms. Psalms. 77, 14. Good job. All now, right, guys. let me hold it and you can do the motions, Misty. All right, what's our motion going to be this <laughs> yes. time? Hey, you guys come help me. What's our motion going to be? Come here, red boy, help me. I think, I like the swimming idea. <laughs> okay, swimming, all right. Oh, swimming. I was going to say belly swaps. Swimming across oh. the Sea of Galilee or Lake Inverness. All right, ready? Or Lake Henderson or wherever it is you're swimming today. One, okay. two, three. You, you are, are the, the god, god of great, great wonders. wonders. <laughs> Psalms 77, 14. Woo! And now let's go jump in the Sea of Galilee. Wait, we got oh, one more oh, thing. Oh, oh. He, he would do it. He would so do it. Okay. <laughs> we got one more thing that we got to do. Today. Yes, it's a special there, day. It's a special day today. But there was a special day last week, too. Yeah. It was somebody's birthday last week. Yes. I think Jonathan Vaughn. Turned 20 years old last week. 20? 20? Yeah, he acts like it. <laughs> no, I don't think that's right. What is he, like 8? I think he's 8. Oh. There's no double digit yet. So I think Jonathan Vaughn yeah. turned 8 years old eight last years week. Old. So happy, happy birthday, birthday John Vaughn. And then we got a special person whose birthday is today. Today's her birthday. Mm -hmm. She's turning 9 years old today. And that's True. Houston. Houston, happy oh, birthday. happy birthday! Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Let's see, happy birthday to one All right, everybody help now. Everybody help. Okay, everybody's on the camera. One, one, two, 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 three. three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday <laughs> to you. Happy birthday, dear Jonathan and Houston. Happy birthday to you. Woo! Bye, guys. Love you. All right, you. guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Stay safe. We love you guys. We miss you guys. See you maybe Saturday or Sunday.